Hello Caitlin, it is Monday, September 22nd, and I have been waiting very patiently for McDonald's pumpkin pies. Because this time last year, they had them. And this time this year, they don't have them yet. And I've been like haunting McDonald's, like I've been checking like every day. And I don't know, maybe I should stop. We went in today and I was even going to, you know, like concede and try the strawberries and cream pie but they were out and the manager said they'd get them again at 2 a.m. in the next shipment. So that means that pumpkin pies aren't even coming in the next shipment, which is very disappointing. Um, I just need pumpkin pies and pumpkin everything is coming already. Like everyone else has pumpkin already, but not McDonald's and it makes me very sad. So instead we bought some fries and we ate them with our turkey taco stuff, which is like turkey and salsa and beans and corn. It was really good actually, and there's actually quite a precedent for um, eating fries with meals of that variety. I've managed to obtain an exclusive interview with a French fryologist, um, and I'll, I'll just leave it to him to explain the subject. <coughs> mm, yes, yes, quite. Um, the uh, common French fry are known in the scientific community as Frenchicus fryicus is, um, ha has quite a unique feature in South American cuisine. Um, for example, in Peruvian cuisine, there is a dish called lomo saltado that uses cuts of um, beef with some exquisite fries, exquisite. Um, in uh, uh, fast food uh, traditions, um, there have been studies of a thing called um, choripapa, which is like hot dogs cut up into like little slices and then put on top of fries. Um, there's also a tradition for the Taco Bells down in South America to have french fries served on sides instead of more tacos. <clears throat> Quite. Um, in addition, it is... Um, eaten alongside street carts in little like ice the like the little like triangular cone things that just put them in a paper cone and you eat them and it's delicious and they commonly eat them with mayonnaise um, and ketchup and all sorts of common confectionaries but mostly ketchup and mayonnaise so the Utahns should be quite familiar with their customs. Um, yes. So there you have it folks. I hope you have learned some new things today. Um, stay tuned for more Fry Adventures in the future because I feel like we can push this a little further. Um, also, I'd love to do a question video next week so if you want to leave me some questions down there, that would be great. Thank you in advance. Okay. Um, I hope you're doing well and keeping authentically awesome.